Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to do a statistics problem. This problem appeared in the recent October November 2015 exams. Okay, it's a CIE exams, the Cambridge International exams, and statistics S2. Okay, the subject is probability and statistics S2, paper 7. Okay, paper 7, subject code 9709 slash 73. Again, 9709 slash 73. And this question is question number 4. Uh, three parts. Each part, uh, the first part has three points. Uh, the second part has two points. And the third part has three points. Okay. So, uh, the actual question, you can download it from the website. Uh, I've just written a, a summarized version here so that we can work through it. Okay? So, it involves continuous random variables. Okay? Uh, we have a random variable x, a random variable x, and we are told that it has a probability density function, okay? k times 4 minus x squared for x between negative 2 and 2. Okay? We are told that x, the random variable, has a probability density function. Okay, in class you would have learned it as PDF. Uh, PDF is k times 4 minus x squared for x between negative 2 and 2, and it's 0 elsewhere. Okay, sometimes they use the word elsewhere, sometimes they use the word uh, otherwise. Okay, good. What are we asked to do? Uh, by the way, this k here is a constant that's mentioned in the question, and you're asked to show that k is a certain value. That's the first part. And then you're asked to sketch the PDF, y equals f of x. And then you're asked to write down the expected value of x. Okay, again, we're asked to sketch y equals f of x. Uh, and then you're asked to write down, please be careful about this, it's write down, so no working really. Okay, by looking at the density function, you should be able to write down the expected value of x. Okay, and finally you're asked to work out the probability. Okay, do some minor integration. That's basically what we need to do. Uh, let's start slow, okay? Uh, the details of the integration, because it's a basically a pretty easy problem involving integration, uh, the integration part, I'll just breeze through it. I'll just tell you the main ideas, okay? Okay, we're asked to find k. Uh, the main thing that you need to know here is, okay, when you have a PDF, a probability density function, okay? You would have learned this in class, negative infinity to infinity, f of x dx, must be equals to 1. The total area under the curve, or in other words, total probability must be 1. So we normally write it in a textbook or in my videos, you would have seen from negative infinity to infinity, f of x dx is 1. Now in this case, it's not negative infinity to infinity. In this case, it is from negative 2 to 2, k 4 minus x squared dx equals to 1. Is that good? Okay. So this is my f of x, uh, dx equals to 1. Again, the idea behind this is total probability must be equals to 1. Therefore, the total area under a curve, which represents a PDF, must be equals to 1. So here, our domain is from negative 2 to 2. Let's carry out some integrations. Let me take the k outside as a constant. Okay, so I have 4x minus x cubed over 3, 2, that's equal to 1. Okay? Again, for when you integrate, you will get 4x. This, I have x squared. So when you integrate this, you have x cubed over 3. Basic integration. Okay? Now, then you need to plug in the 2. So I have k. Uh, 4 times 2, let me do that here. 8 uh, minus uh, 8 over 3. Okay? 4 times 2 is 8. Uh, 2 cubed is 8. There you have it. Minus. Plug in negative 2 here, I'll have negative 8. Okay? And this is x cubed. Be careful, I have minus 2 cubed will be minus 8. Okay? So I'm going to have uh, a minus minus 8. So I'm going to write this as. Again. Okay? So this is negative 2. When you plug this in here, you'll get negative 8. Okay? So you get negative 8 over 3, basically. Okay? But because there's a negative in front, I made it plus 8 over 3. Okay? So let me just 
finish this problem here is equals to one. Okay, so cleaning that up, maybe I'll write it here. What's inside my brackets? I have eight, and then I have a minus eight, and there's a minus here, so it's sixteen. Let me do that here. Okay, eight plus eight is sixteen. I have minus eight over three. Minus plus eight over three is minus eight over three. Minus eight over three is minus sixteen over three. And that's equals to one. Don't forget the one though, yeah? It should be that. Okay. Then uh, let's clean this up. Uh, 16 times 3 is uh, 48. 48 minus 16 is uh, 32. Therefore, k equals to 3 over 32. And we're done. So we get 3 points. Okay. Now we're going to be looking at part two. Uh, pretty easy part. Yeah? We are asked to sketch this curve and we have to write down the expected value of x. So let me write down the curve here. Okay, I have f of x that's equals to k. We worked this out earlier, 3 over 32. And I have 4 minus x squared for x between 2 and negative 2. Okay? And it's zero elsewhere. So I'm not going to write it. Okay. So we have to sketch it from our P1 base. Okay. Uh, this is a simple quadratic curve. Okay. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, roughly, yeah. Okay. You can draw a better curve. I'm just going to give you an idea of what to do. I have negative 2 to 2. Okay. Uh, when you plug in negative 2 here, it's 4, it's gone. So we are starting here. Okay, and you know the curve is going to be like this. Okay, you know the curve is going to be like that, and you know it, the maximum point is going to be on the y-axis. If we know that already, that's from basic quadratic curves. So uh, at two, at the value of x equals to two, you plug in here four minus twice again. Okay, so when x is zero, okay, when x is zero, I have got uh, three times four is twelve over thirty-two. So it's somewhere here. So your curve will be. Something like this. Okay? This will be 12 over 32. So we asked to sketch the curve y equals f of x. So uh, to be a bit more correct, you know, this is your x axis and this is your y equals to f of x. And you know. Okay? Now, this is a symmetric curve. Okay? Remember the x values range from negative 2 to 2. You can see the symmetry. You asked to write down the expected value of x. The expected value of x is. Zero. And we are done. Okay, our last part here we asked to find the probability that x is less than one. Okay? Uh, we asked to find the probability x less than one. So let's do that. Okay. So probability x less than one would be equals to what is the lowest value of x? Negative two. And we're going up to one f of x dx. That's it. Yeah? Basically, so let me just write my equal to sign here so I have some space. So I have negative 2 to 1, uh, 3 over 32, 4 minus x squared, dx. So that is simple. Okay? Basic integration. Yeah? I have 3 over 32. I'm not going to do, do all of it. I'll just set it up for you. 4x minus x cubed over 3, 1, and negative 2. Okay? So you can plug it in and use a calculator and your final answer will be 27 over 32 and you're done.